Kyle back here live at South by Southwest in Austin on day four of this wonderful conference. Today I'm joined with uh, Tony from Ribbon. Tony, thank you very much for joining us. Good to be here. Thank you. So, Tony, for those who don't know, um, because I'm sure there's not many people out there that know, I know you guys are um, haven't launched yet, but can you tell us a little bit about Ribbon and what you guys are doing? Yeah, we go live uh, early April on iOS, Android, and web, and it's a really large problem that we're solving. Um, your ribbon is your future, and the problem we're solving is that people just don't have a coherent application to know where your friends are going to be in the future, in advance, you know, days, weeks, months in advance. So you hear it all around you, just constantly, I'm obviously been hypersensitive to it for a long time. People are saying, you know, God, I was in New York three weeks ago, you know, we were there at the same time, we could have, you know, met up if we'd only known that. Or I was in San Francisco, I wish I'd have known in advance. I just saw it maybe on Foursquare that I was there. So Ribbon is focused on, you know, it's the first future-focused platform that's going to give great visibility into where your friends will be in the future. Um, so it's a really big problem. It, all around the world, there's millions of misconnections that happen every day. Uh, and there's various implications, so there's social implications, business implications, etc. So it's real exciting. I've been working on it for a couple of years, and I've um, got a great development team in New York, fueled, and um, yeah, we're finally uh, getting it out in people's hands, and yeah, really excited. Well, well, congratulations. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited to see the application. I know everyone else is going to be, uh, because it is a problem that needs to be solved. Um, we have that issue every day. I mean, here we're at South by Southwest, and I'm sure that issue is, has come across a lot of people's hands. Um, how did this idea come about? I mean, besides just the, you know, being at something like this and realizing, oh, we should have connected, or oh, I, sh you know, I was visiting. Um, how did this idea come about in your life? Yeah, so this Ribbon's my sixth company. Um, it's my second tech company. Uh, I was the first to put music videos on the web on a large scale in '97 with MusicVideos.com, and I merged with a company called Launch. We went public in April of '99. We're the first internet music company to go public. Um, how? how do, sorry, sorry to interrupt. How did you get involved in that space? Uh, I loved music as a kid and you know I was young and got out of college and the web was happening and my buddy built a college website and showed me and said hey these 10 music videos get half the traffic in our site and I said stop that's what we're doing we're gonna build the MTV of the internet and I changed gears in life and um, that's what we did for you know 12 hours a day for eight months and became one of the top traffic sites in the web in 98 and had a crazy ride got to 10 million users and and really early web um, it was exciting and merge. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. You know, we we it was great. Early internet, first wave. You know, I, 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 it, was, it was really a you know, great experience. So, so getting back, I mean, you know, to how did you guys actually come about, or how did how did Ribbon come about? Yeah. So from there, I actually moved to Fiji. Um, you know, in, in 2000, and ended up building a hotel and had a real estate development. And in uh, 2008, uh, you know, some, a lot of problems with you know world economy, et cetera. So I. Um, I lost that project and ended up moving back to the States. And I, you know, though my whole time living in Fiji, I would come back to the States maybe twice a year for 10 days, and I wouldn't know where my friends are going to be in the future. So I really valued meeting up with all my friends for this limited amount of time. So I actually kept, kept an Excel spreadsheet for years. Like, these friends are going to be in New York. These friends are going to be at Red Rocks of the show. These friends are going to be, you know, in L.A. And it would dictate my travel. And I, I got back um, to the States in, you know, 2010, and I got fascinated with mobile, got fascinated, you know, with... Foursquare and checking into the present and so forth. And I said, God, you should be able to check into the future and we should have this visibility. It should be, you know, we have it in our, in our brains and it's just a matter of, of getting it out of people's brains and onto an application. And so, you know, I spent a year really thinking deeply and writing about how to get this, this personal information where you're going to be in the future, you know, out of your brain and giving this value proposition back to, you know, connecting you to your friends. And, you know, today maybe only your, you know, your, your, significant other or a couple of close friends, you know, know where you're going to be. And even they, they keep asking you, wait, when are you going to New York? So, I mean, it's got to be a better way. So, Ribbon was born. Um, so, I spent the last, you know, couple of years, last year in New York working with, with you know, Fueled and uh, developing a, just a gorgeous application. We think we, we've solved the problem at, you know, a high, high level and um, it's great to be going live on all three platforms. And, you know, it's been great just demoing it. Just very recently, we started demoing it and see people's sort of, you know, like reaction to see all their friends on a map. We've really, really, you know, re-engineered a map to, to agree with the future component. And it's really exciting to, to see all your friends on a map and pins and what we've done. And, and firstly, just organizing your friends and, and the way we do in big city and metro areas on a map with pins, is it's, it hasn't been done before. And it's really exciting just the, 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 the immediate day one value you get from Ribbon to see that, you know, you got an LA pin and all your friends from, you know, Hollywood, 
Beverly Hills, Manhattan Beach, Venice Beach, they're all in one, you know, they should be organized in one, you know, area like that. That's how people think about location. And I think other people haven't, you know, figured out yet. And what, what I realized, what, you know, how to solve this problem is to organize your friends in metro areas. You know, you go to Denver, you visit friends from Boulder and all that area. So we should organize your friends that way. And that's how people live their lives in, in relation to location in the future. So. Well, great. So you, you've mentioned New York and uh, you guys have been there for a little bit. Um, what is or how is the New York tech scene right now? I mean, you guys have been involved there. You're in the startup world as well. Tell us a little bit about what's going on in New York. Yeah, um, it's it's. I think design is really the, the, the sort of vibe or feel that kind of sets maybe New York apart from maybe San Francisco. And I've spent a lot of time in San Francisco um, in the past, and it's 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 more intimate, smaller. So I feel like I'm you know getting to know a lot of the um, the folks and you know around we. Um, we work above Foursquare's offices, and it's pretty cool, like environment. And there's a fuel has a collective, so I feel like you know startup scene again. That whole energy of like you know the late '90s, I already experienced. So it's cool to you know have that again and that energy. And so optimism, you know. Um, so I love New York. Uh, it's just this really amazing city, and so that kind of transcends to your daily life and solving this problem and, and what we're building. And we've got a great team. They're, they're spread actually around the country. Um, got you know five full-time folks and um, you know some part-time folks doing a lot of data curation Cur ribbons very very data centric whereby you know anywhere you're going to the future we're going to capture that you know whether you're going to a city whether you're going to a festival a concert a sports game a business conference a food and wine event so we spent over a year getting ribbon ready with lots of data points and being able to you know very easily whatever you enter the ribbon where you're going you build it to, to grab that coherently and, and and say where you're going to connect you to your friends in the future well, well, Tony, I mean, we are here at South by Southwest. Um, what are you guys doing here? Are you out here promoting? Um, you know, did you get a chance to speak on any panels? Um, you know, and if, or I guess actually, better question is, uh, what are you doing next? I mean, we're kind of winding down interactive. Are you going to be staying for music? Can people get in touch with you while you're here? Yeah, I might stay for music for a day or two. Um, Superfly, uh, who owns Bonnaroo, uh, outside lands, do a lot of big events of a marketing group. They're uh, an investor in Ribbon and a partner. So, we're, um, you know, they'll be out here. So we get to spend some time with them. And, you know, they're in New York also. But um, basically, we've, you know, we've been pretty low key because we're getting ready to launch, you know, in three or four weeks and just networking the people we, we know and, you know, with our PR from Talk Tech here and, you know, Fuels Out Here and just other other consultants I have and um, a couple investors are out here and um, yeah just you know demoing it to key people and you know just starting just starting the next phase of ribbon which is now like the dream of you know getting in people's hands and you know we're building a company and you know I have a lot of experience building a company and in five different industries you know from travel to music sports and and tech so ribbon is really I understand the product we're building and where people are going and you know how to connect that so it's just going to be awesome to you know just start you know just achieving getting people's hands and how do we grow and what's the best cost benefit with the user acquisition improving our model and then you know later in the year we'll you know work to, to raise a much larger round and and you know make it make it in millions of people's hands around around the world that's the goal well well speaking of that what what is the url that everybody can go to to grab this here in a couple weeks yeah it's ribbon.me um so now it's just a splash page but um you know starting soon in a few weeks yeah, it'll be a full-blown website that you're able to map your future well tony thank you again very much for for joining us today and everybody out there who's watching um please check out uh, ribbon.me and download Ribbon. Again, Tony, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for being here. Thank you.